Hi and welcome to Peacemake TV. In today's video tutorial for Lightroom, we're going to take a look at how we can create a tilt and shift effect with this photograph. So let's take a look at how we can do that right now. So to create our tilt and shift effect, we're going to be using the graduated filter. So we're going to select that. We're going to choose the effect. We're going to change that from the default exposure and we're going to come down and we're going to choose sharpness. So once we've done that, we can now simply draw our graduated filter onto our image. And we're going to do that by selecting about a fifth of the way into the image. Click, hold the shift key down, drag that down until we can get probably about halfway down the image. Let go. Then what we're going to do is we're going to choose the sharpness slider. We're going to drag that all the way to the left hand side, which is then going to do the opposite of, of sharpening. It's going to blur that out. So you can see that's now given us a graduated blur right the way down to where we've, we've actually set it. So everything above the main line is all blurred and then it gradually gets less and less as it gets towards the buildings. But we're kind of limited with this. We can only actually set it to minus 100. So that's not really enough to get the effect that we want. So what we can do is we can simply come up and we can choose new. That will create a second graduated filter, which we can now use to do the same thing again. So we can hold the shift key down, drag that down to the same position, let go, choose the sharpness slider and move that all the way to the left hand side. We've now stacked that on top of each other. We now have two graduated filters giving us 200% sharpening or softness in this case, blurring. So we're going to do exactly the same now at the bottom. So we're going to hit new to create a third. We'll drag that up from just a little bit up inside the actual picture because we want to retain this group of people walking up the main street. So we'll just set that. That should do. We'll do the same again. We'll set the sharpness to be minus 100. Click on new to create another one. And we'll do the same again. And these don't have to be perfect, but the fact that it leaves the little pin symbol in there so you can see exactly where your previous one was is a good indicator so you can sort of line these different effects up. So we'll set the same again. We'll set the sharpness down to minus 100. So we've stacked that on top of each other. So we've got four lots of the graduated filter mask and we've applied twice at the top, twice at the bottom. So once we've done that, we can click on close. And all I'm going to do to finish this off now is increase the saturation slightly to give it a, an overly colorful effect. And we'll pop the clarity ever so slightly just so we can get some nice contrast in the stonework and the roof tiles of the building. And if we come in and we just zoom into the picture, so let's just close the basics panel down and we zoom in, we now get that sort of toy town effect where people look like they're little models. So that's really all there is to it. What this really shows you is not only can you create this tilt and shift effect quite quickly and easily in Lightroom, but you can also stack multiple versions of the same filter on top of each other to build the effect up, which is a great, great little tool to sort of know and have in your arsenal. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit the subscribe button below to be kept up to date with all of the new content added to the channel every week. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else included on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. We read everything you post and try to answer every question asked. Well, until next time, take care.